seven. That's the number of players who came through Liverpool's academy and featured in the League Cup final against Chelsea on Sunday. In this video, we'll tell you how Liverpool's academy has become one of the best in the world in recent years and regularly produces players who are worthy of playing for Jurgen Klopp's first team. So subscribe to the channel and let's get started! Liverpool approached the League Cup final against Chelsea with a disastrous roster situation. Let's do the math. Mohamed Salah, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Alisson, Darwin Nunez, Diogo Jota, Dominic Sabosley, Curtis Jones, Thiago, Joel Matip, Stefan Bajcetic. Ten first-team players at once could not help the Reds in the final. Against this back job, Chelsea were rightly considered the favorite of the match, despite a generally disastrous season. At least Mauricio Pochettino did not have any huge losses. Jurgen Klopp, of course, was concerned about all this, but he responded to the journalists in his style. As long as we have 11 players, we will go for it. Indeed, Liverpool's starting lineup was relatively okay despite all the losses. However, if you look at the bench, you can see that the Reds' situation was very, very difficult. How many of these players did you know at the start of the season? In fact, club did not have a single senior midfield or attacking player to strengthen the game. Then, in the middle of the first half, the Reds got into more trouble when Ryan Gravenberg got injured and had to be replaced. In the second half, in addition to Elliot, Gallagher and Bradley, Bobby Clark, Jaden Dunst and James McConnell were subbed on. Jarrell Kwanzaa joined them in extra time. Thus, seven Liverpool Academy graduates took part in this game. An incredible number, considering that it was the final a huge amount of respect must be given to Jurgen Klopp. Usually, academy players are trusted in matches with lower responsibility, or they are brought in when the team wins with a big score. This was not the case, the score was 0-0 and the trophy was at stake. Most other managers would have simply demanded that their starting lineup play the entire match and not take any risks with the youngsters. However, Jurgen trusted the academy players, and for this, he deserves a huge respect. We needed fresh legs. The coach explained his decision. The youngsters not only stepped on the pitch and gave Chelsea a good fight, this team full of inexperienced players dominated the opponent in the extra time. In the end, Virgil van Dijk scored the winning goal and the team won their first trophy of the season. What a story! Take Jaden Duns, for example. This 18-year-old made his senior debut a few days before the final, playing a couple of minutes in a game against Luton in the Premier League. And here he is in the final and has even had a few chances to score. Fantastic! Like this video if you are happy for the Liverpool youngsters. In this photo from the celebration of the League Cup victory, you see Jarrell Quanza, Jaden Dunst, Bobby Clark, James McConnell, Ben Doak, Louis Comas, Trey Noini, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Stefan Bajcetic, Connor Bradley and Harvey Elliott. Curtis Jones and Koamin Kelleher should be added to the list. In total, these are 13 players who came out of the Liverpool Academy and are currently in the first team. Of these, only Louis Kumas and Trey Nioni have not made their Liverpool debuts. Are there many top clubs that would have 11 Academy players playing for the first team at the same time? In fact, this is already the level of Barcelona and their La Masia. And now let's see how it happened that the Reds Academy has reached such a tremendous level of efficiency in recent years. Alex Inglethorpe, a former footballer and now the director of Liverpool's academy, is a big part of this success. He shared the main principles of player education. The most crucial one is no egos. To be part of the academy, you have to be not only a good player, but also a decent person off the pitch. No 10,000 pound watches or other luxury items until you have achieved things. Under Inglethorpe's leadership, the academy has a wage cap. No player can earn more than £50,000 a year. Alex also introduced a car class, limiting engine sizes to 1.3 liters. It is a safety thing as much as anything. I don't want boys who have just passed their test with these big chunks of metal. But I was also fed up seeing a park full of Range Rovers. If anyone turns up with one of them, they are parking it next door. The director explains. Also, 
during their stay at the academy, Blair's phones are taken away from them. We tell them to hand their phones over at 8.30 a.m. and give them back before they go home, Inglethorpe says. This rule may seem old-fashioned, but the benefits are obvious. Instead of wasting time on social media, young players communicate with each other, making bonds, and can also spend time productively. For example, watching first-team training sessions and learn from the seniors. Two years ago, the first team in the academy started working at the same facility, and these also gave the youngsters a boost in their desire to move up. Inglethorpe notes that in addition to everything that happens in the academy, the first team should have players who will take care of the youngsters who have joined them. The synergy between young talent and the presence of big character in the first team is the key. Alex cites the story of Trent Alexander-Arnold as a perfect example. When you get to the senior squad, the best thing you can do is have senior players who become your advocates. There was no flash watch with Trent. I remember how he drove the same car for years. He'd wear the same track suit. As soon as he made the step up, Jordan Henderson, Adam Lalana, and James Milner invested time and effort to help him. Now, as vice-captain, Trent ensures the smooth integration of new talent into the first team. After all, you have already seen the result of this work. It's not only Trent who should be commended, but the entire group of leaders in Liverpool. Van Dijk, Allison, Robertson, Salah. They are not only top leaders and professionals, but also great characters from whom you can learn only good things. Of course, Jurgen Klopp plays a special role in this process. There are a lot of good academies out there, but not all clubs have a manager with the courage to play youngsters at big moments. Jurgen is the difference. He does not just give 10 minutes here and there with the team 4-0 up. There are so many examples when he has played virtually complete academy teams. There are times when I have looked at the starting 11 and thought, wow, I'm not sure even I would do that. He believes in these players. Inglethorpe says, and it is true. Under Jurgen Klopp's management, 51 academy players made their debuts for the Reds, an incredible figure considering that the club not only exists, but constantly fights for the biggest trophies. Another component of Liverpool Academy's success is purely economic. The side of its work is also impressive. There are some academies spending £40 million a year. We are nearer £13 million. If you think of £130 million over 10 years, what is the return on that investment? We have sold about £160 million worth of academy talent. Alex Inglethorpe shares the data. Indeed, in recent years, Liverpool have not only nurtured talent for their team, but have also made several good sales. In particular, we can mention the transfer of Ryan Brewster to Sheffield United for £23 million, or Harry Wilson to Fulham for £12 million. In other words, the academy is profitable only due to outgoing transfers. However, the value it has in terms of players exceeds this many times over. We've been studying it, and we estimate there is about £300 million of academy talent in this building, the director says. Given the impact of players like Jarrell Kumansa, Connor Bradley and others, one might think that this figure is even a bit underestimated. You can also make simple calculations. In an English top club, the average player costs around 30 to 40 million pounds and has a salary of about 5 to 7 million pounds per year. That is, if the team has three decent players from the academy to replace them, it saves the club about 130 million pounds a year. Not bad, you must admit. And considering that the number of academy players in Liverpool's first team is much higher, you can imagine how important its role is for the club. Football, with the evolution of financial fair play, is moving away from large transfers, and in such conditions, the role of the academy will become more and more important. Liverpool have been working in this direction for many years and are now reaping the rewards. To be continued. I got told outside that there is an English phrase, you don't win trophies with kits. I didn't know that. Jurgen Klopp sat smilingly after winning the League Cup final against Chelsea. Friends, let us know in the comments which club academies you consider to be the best and whether you agree with the opinion that the future belongs to clubs that invest in the development of academy players. Thank you all for your attention. Bye-bye.